Do you want to take complete control over your enemies, making them question their life choices as they're left dangling helplessly in the air? Or maybe you're looking for a build that makes Stasis jealous of the sheer amount of crowd control it can maintain, while also being exceptionally tanky. What is going on Guardians, Dorverich here, and in this video I will be showcasing an endgame Threadrunner build that can control the battlefield like nothing else. Every enemy we encounter is left completely helpless. All they can do is watch us kill them. In the background you're seeing some Legend Lost Sector gameplay 22 power under level, so these are nearly Grandmaster level enemies, and they just can't do anything to us. They're permanently suspended in our infinite shackle grenades and ensnaring slams, and all they can do is accept their death. This build gets better the stronger the enemies are since our crowd control does not depend on enemy level. And as usual for builds on this channel, we are not relying on the artifact. So this build will stay strong into the next season and beyond. Now let's get to the build explanation. This build takes advantage of an extremely strong aspect available to Threadrunner, Widow's Silk. Widow's Silk gives us two grenade chargers, which we use with the incredibly powerful Shackle Grenade to trap just about every enemy we encounter in our web of strand. We'll be generating an insane amount of grenade energy with our mod setup, so having two charges ensures that none of that grenade energy goes to waste. Our second aspect, Ensnaring Slam, adds yet another way to suspend enemies, this time by using our air move and consuming our dodge cooldown. If anything manages to evade our shackle grenade, or if we need to extend suspension on a particularly tanky enemy, this is our way to make sure that nothing breaks free. We'll also be generating an insane amount of class ability energy, so we can go crazy spamming suspend on anything that moves. For fragments, the core fragments are Thread of Mind, Warding, and Continuity. Thread of Mind gives us a ridiculously large amount of dodge energy back when we kill anything that's suspended, which is just about everything. Thread of Warding gives us woven mail whenever we pick up an orb, which is a 10 second buff that gives us 60% damage reduction. Since orbs are so easy to make now and the payoff is so high, skipping this would be criminal. Thread of Continuity is a no-brainer. It extends the duration of our suspensions from 8 seconds to 12 seconds, which is perfect since we're aiming to have as much suspend uptime as possible. The last slot is a flex slot. I've elected to use Thread of Wisdom here to generate more orbs for higher uptime on Woven Mail. Other good options here include Thread of Ascent for an instant reload on Grenade Throw, which is fantastic for boss DPS. Thread of Finality to get some extra damage from finishers, which we will be using frequently for reasons I'll cover shortly. And Thread of Generation for even more grenade energy. Our exotic for this build is the 6th Coyote which gives us an additional charge on our dodge and, by extension, our slam. With the amount of class ability energy we generate through Thread of Mind, we can use our dodge energy extremely liberally, both to suspend enemies with Ensnaring Slam and to use our actual dodge. If we only had one charge, a lot of that dodge energy would go to waste. With two charges, well, a lot of the dodge energy still goes to waste because we generate that much of it but it does ensure that we're never caught without our slam when we need it. The core of our mod setup is the Explosive Finisher mod, which requires at least three stacks of armor charge to activate. When we perform a finisher with three stacks, Explosive Finisher will consume the stacks and give us nearly a full grenade charge back. To generate armor charge, we're using two copies of Empowered Finish, which will give us two stacks when we perform a finisher provided that we're empty. Stacks on stacks will increase this to 3 stacks, which creates a self-sustaining loop. Every finisher consumes 3 stacks with Explosive Finisher to refund our grenade. Then Empowered Finish sees that our stacks are now gone, and generates 3 more stacks for the next finisher to consume. To start up the loop, all we need is to perform a single finisher at the beginning of combat to get our 3 initial stacks of armor charge, taking care not to pick up any stray orbs along the way. Since the enemies are going to be helpless, we can perform these finishers very safely. Note that we will only generate grenade energy this way if both of our grenade chargers are on cooldown. I'm pretty sure this is a bug, and hopefully it gets fixed soon. The rest of our mod suite is built to support our infinite suspend loop. Double bolstering detonation generates even more dodge energy whenever we land a grenade. 
Appropriate siphon mods generate orbs, which gives us woven mail through Thread of Warding. The orbs also feed into recuperation for some healing sustain, and innervation for even more grenade energy. As for stats, the highest priorities are mobility and discipline. These are tied to each of our methods of suspending enemies, so we want those abilities to be coming back as quickly as possible. The next priority is resilience. Even though Woven Mail gives us 60% damage reduction already, being harder to kill is always a good thing, especially when we don't have the Woven Mail buff. Weapon choice is completely open. This build does not depend on any special synergies with strand weapons, so we're free to use whatever weapons the activity calls for. But if you're watching this in Season 20, Strand and Void have some fantastic artifact options available. Untangler to extend suspension by popping tangles with a strand weapon. And Volatile Flow plus a repulsor brace weapon to put a Void overshield in front of your already massive damage reduction. And there you have it, a Threadrunner build that can immobilize an entire room full of enemies while being extremely difficult to kill. I hope you all enjoyed the build and breakdown. Drop a like if you found this video helpful or entertaining, and if you want to see more endgame oriented builds like this one, consider subscribing to the channel. You can also find all my builds in a playlist, which I'll link in the description. You can find a dim link to the build in the description too, as well as a consolidated image of the build at the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to answer every question that comes my way. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, Guardians.